Welcome back to Ancestral Recall Deck. We're gonna take Ancestral Recall. You ever cast an Ancestral Recall? I hope this shoulder comes back because this is this is a combination maneuver. This is what's known as a combination play. Why do I feel like shoulder is even better? It's because you're stupid. That's why. Got him. Got him. That's just that. That's just an insult to the armed forces, really. Shoulder? I doubt shoulder to wheel. Not in this pack. That's not going to happen. But I'm still taking the Ancestral Recall because, come on, don't be stupid. I like Time Warp. I think Time Warp's probably better than Coveted Jewel here. Yeah, shoulder literally. I've, I don't think I've ever seen a shoulder wheel. Like, if you don't see it, if you don't, op if you don't open it, you're not getting it. Again, what? What are you saying? You can't just say again. Teferi might be better than War, but it's also two colors. I mean... <sighs> Shoulder is pack one, pick one material. I agree. So is Ancestral Recall. <sighs> you know what? The Jewel might come back. I really want it for some... <laughs> Mark, would you say you covet it? Oh, I see. That was a... I don't think it was a bad... Oh, wow. Displacer Kitten? I don't think it was a bad Rocky Horror joke. I think it was just too subtle. Yeah, we're taking Displacer Kitten here. If the Coveted Jewel comes back, we're going to go nuts. You want to go nuts? Let's go nuts. If anyone can name that movie, I'll love you forever. Oh, Stormrix, I'm so proud of you. Frogler, you as well. I'm proud of you both. Well done. Well done, both of you. Most of the users aren't alive at the time. <laughs> oh, dear. Nick, you did get it, but I'm not even sure if you copied off someone else's homework. Entomb seems good, although we have nothing to do with an Entomb. It might just be Gitaxian Probe here. Also, Shadow Spear is a cheap card that triggers Displacer Kitten. I don't hate... Oh, uh, so, is, so is Probe. We'll take Probe. I never take Probe. Now I'm taking Probe. So, shut up. Okay. Now you guys can't complain that I don't take Probe. Did anyone do that? I don't know. Would they? Probably. I think I'll take Subtlety here. I like it better than Brainstorm. I like it better than Intuition. I do like Bring to Light, but I don't think we're bringing anything to light here. We also don't have a committed second color just yet. Also, if we have like an instant, we can we can blink our subtlety to reactivate it. Oh, sh oh, oh, you shouldn't have. Thank you, Magic Online. <laughs> it's your boy. Come on, everybody knows I'm taking Genesis Engine. It's no secret. What do you guys think of the, the new special guest tireless tracker? That guy's going straight in my cube. I was waiting for a tireless tracker that had like a different border. Cause I like, I like borderless and extended art cards and there, there just wasn't one. And now we got this guy, which looks fantastic. This is such a good art too. I'm so glad that this is coming out. St straight to the cube. Could take Scrubland, lean into Esper. Um, I like Reclamation. It does get us back Tefri, but that's pretty much it for now. Oh my god, the Tiger does have a lot of eyes. I didn't even notice that. I kind of like Scrubland. It keeps us open to play other things. Deserted Beach? I like you. Son of Beach. So this is the last pack before we see if the Coveted Jewel comes back. Um, I like Batterskull, but I'm also just gonna, I'm just gonna take the land. But <sighs> We did not get Coveted Jewel back. We did get a Tundra though, which is pretty nice. I'll definitely take a Tundra. I will definitely take the absolute best land in our colors.
So my Triome is black white. I'm gonna take Timeless Dragon though. Being able to go get Scrubland or Tundra is pretty sweet. Father does love a Tundra. Apparently there's 18 special guest cards in 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 Mark in Karlov Manor. But only 10 of them are revealed so far, so I'm excited to see what else is coming, you know? Yeah, Blood Crypt, sure. Oh, I'm gonna take Shadow Spear now, actually. I'll take an intuition. Eh, actually, I'll take Concealing Curtains. If that Savine's Reclamation comes back, we are in business. Also, we can splash the red here. We're just Esper with red. We're just bloody Esper, you know? Who was murdered to kick off this next set? Great question. I don't know. I also like this Crashing Footfalls art. And it's the, again, it's the only non- normal version of the card. Oh, I see a mana drain. Like this art's also pretty sick. Those birds are gonna they're gonna lose it. Yep, just taking mana drain here for sure. I hope Chrome Host Seed Shark comes back, but this does not look like a pack it might. If I can get Palantir or Seed Shark out of this pack or Odawara, I'll be glad, but I'm not gonna pass a mana drain. Don't be stupid. Probably not going to pass a Demonic Tutor either. And if Hollowed Fountain, Malcolm, or Ka even Kappa Cannoneer comes back, I'd be grateful. So Mana Drain into Demonic Tutor seems pretty good. This pack is unexciting, but Force of Negation, not terrible. I actually kind of like it a little bit. Yeah, it's good. I'll take it. We have a lot of blue cards. I don't feel bad about that. Oh, there's only 10. I thought someone, I, I thought I read there were 18. Did someone say there was 10? Weird. Where did I see 18, I wonder? Well, I guess all 10 of them have been revealed. Uh, Nick, I think they're actually both. I think they are special reprints because they're all reprint cards done by guest artists and they're all in like sweet borderless treatment like this one like this sick ass carnage tyrant that i really like so one of my favorite things about these borderless um these special guest dinosaurs is that they all look like they're from dino riders do you guys remember dino riders <sighs> creeping tar pit actually seems great for us here I would take a Ledger Shredder or a Bitter Triumph if they came back, but I'd rather just have the fixing that's that's good for us right now. I do like a Palace Jailer. Yeah, also we have Displacer Kitten so we can blink that guy. I'm down to Clown. There's Inquisition. If that was Duress, I'd be on board. I don't actually think we are a Fallen Shinobi deck, unfortunately. But we could be. We sure could be. I'm going to take Kolagon's Command out now. I don't think we're playing that guy. Could just take Wrath. There's a lot of times I wish I had a Wrath. It's double white, though. Yeah, I just can't, I can't fight my nature, you know? Oh, Swords to Plowshares? Fantastic. Easy, easy Swords to Plowshares. That's like a mini Wrath, you know? It's just like a mini Wrath. I kind of like Haunted Ridge if we want to play Kolagon's Command or Flip a Valky. Jace is a little too much. Graveyard Trespasser is interesting. I 
I got a crypt. What what kind of crypt? Oh, I guess we're taking Haunted Ridge there. Parallax Wave is pretty bananas. We can also blink Parallax Wave with Kitten, right? Oh, wow, that's really exciting. Oh, Malcolm came back. Malcolm came back. I'm glad we took Fallen Shinobi now. Our four slot's looking a little hot, though. Um, I don't think we're reservoiring. I'll take the Aspirant. Maybe we're, maybe we're just Esper mid-range. Lion Slash is good. You're not wrong. Well, nothing here came back that we want. I guess I'll just take Weathered Wayfarer. Take an Avacyn. Take a Portable Hole. Dark Confidant last pick. All right, Confidant can go. Portable Hole can go. Wayfarer can go. Archangel Avacyn, you're on the fence. <sighs> Could just be Sunken Ruins here. Sunken Ruins not bad, especially since we have Mana Drain, which is double blue. This pack's not very exciting otherwise. Verdant Catacombs actually gets Scrubland and Tundra. Does not get Tundra. I made that up. That's not how that works. I don't think it's another four drop. Yeah, I think it's just Sunken Ruins here. I mean, Urza's fine. I really don't want a sixth four drop. We're also, we have one other artifact in our deck, so we're not really an Urza deck. Verdant only gets Scrubland right now, which is not exciting. I'd rather have Sunken Ruins. There is a Dark Depths, and we do have a Vampire Hex Mage. I actually thought I passed this. So that's interesting. Interesting. I think my favorite blue card is Ancestral Recall. <laughs> Followed by Time Walk. Really tempted to take this Dark Depths. We also have Demonic Tutor. I think we're taking Dark Depths here. Putting Hex Mage back in. Spell Seeker is interesting. We can get Ancestral, Swords, Mana Drain, Demonic Tutor. I think it... I don't ordinarily like a Spell Seeker, but I think it's actually well positioned on this curve. And we have a bunch of cards to get with it. There's a big Gristle brand. See, Arid Mesa I like a lot better because now we can get Scrubland or Tundra. There's also a Caracas. I think it's actually Arid Mesa. It also lets us splash just a mountain too. What is this, 28 cards? We have 21 playables, not including Kolagon's Command if we want to play that. Yeah, all right. I'm I'm down with I'm down with the the Mesa. I think it's just mana leak here. I also don't hate Pentad Prism. Being able to ramp on turn just play a Pentad on turn two to fix our mana. I actually kinda like that a little better. There's a gut. <laughs> I don't think we have a gut deck. I think it might just be Rona. Yeah, Rona seems pretty good. I think Rona's better than Fire Ice. All right. Oh, Grief? Oh, God, I'm so... This four-drop slot is so fat. We might not play Displacer Kitten. It doesn't seem great with our deck right now. I was really hoping for the Coveted Jewel. Currency Converter, also just great. Grief is a zero drop, I guess. I mean, we only have like four black cards in our deck and I don't know if we were playing Concealing Curtains here. I do like a Currency Converter. Yeah, I think Grief is actually too good to pass there. Oh, we can just take a Shattered Sanctum, that's nice. I don't hate Adeline here. Is Staff any good for us? We have Genesis Engine. 
Timeless Dragon if we Eternalize. No, not really a deck for that. I'll just take the Adeline. I think Adeline's just good. As a late life debt. Oh, we're just taking Sacred Foundry because it gives us an Arid Mesa target. That's actually really good. And we can even put Kolagon's Command back in. I don't think we have a Zerta deck. I'll take a three minute Inspector though. Him to Torok came back. Yeah, we'll take that. Molten Collapse, yeah, that's fine too. All right. Well, we got a bunch of good stuff here. Oh wow, last pick, second to last pick, Gut. I still don't think we're a Gut deck. Someone's getting a little treat there. Tekken 8 just came out. That's interesting. Oh my god, last pick concealed courtyard is a treat, dude. That's exciting. God, I haven't played a Tekken in ages. So we're taking out Fire Ice. This is a lot of cards. I think we need like six picks, six cuts now. All right, so we're definitely playing Dark Depths as a main deck card. I'm cutting Probe. I don't care about Probe. I'll take out Molten Collapse here. I'm minimizing the red cards. Mostly just trying to flip Valky, I think. Don't care about Shadow Spear anymore because we just don't, we're not like really focusing on creature attacks. I think Subtlety can go as well. I mean, Luminarch Aspirant and Adeline seem okay. I mean, if we can get Tefri when we Vampire Hex Mage, like that seems pretty good. I think all of our lands are playable, which is super nice. Double blue, double black, double white, but I think our mana base should be accommodating of all these rigid requirements. Arid Mesa gets every color, I believe. It gets Tundra, Scrubland, or Sacred Foundry. Yeah, mana base is looking solid. So we need like two more cuts. We also have Ancestral, Demonic Tutor, and Mana Drain. That seems good. I think I kind of want to cut Subtlety. I'm not super impressed with Subtlety, and I don't want to keep that mana up. Timeless Dragon, also nice. Just gets us... What do we have for Fallen Shinobi? I guess Rona, Malcolm, Thraben Inspector, if it gets through. Adeline or Adeline Tokens. Yeah, actually, that seems like a fine amount of... You don't love the engine? That's insane. Engine is overperformed for me every single time I've drafted it. That's nuts. I feel like you may not have played with it. Him seems like a stretch, really. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven black sources already without a single swamp. Yeah, I think it is just Aspirant. Yeah, I, I agree with that. That seems Aspirant's just not doing enough. All right, let's add all of these. Sort by Colares. All right, pretty reasonable Esper deck with a Colagon's Command in it and a Valky we can flip. Um, so let's go to the white sources we have. One, two, let's move you out of the way. You don't count, you don't count. Solid, solid, solid selection of basics here. This is 10, we get 7. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is 9. I'm okay with that. Blue, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Kind of want to go to 8 here, especially with Mana Drain. 
Uh, black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, wait, what? So this should be nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that seems good. I don't think we need a red. Like we have one, two, three, plus Pentad Prism for two red cards. Only well, technically one red card with uh, Valky Flip. Yeah, that seems good. In it to win it. And we're definitely taking a shot of this because we both need a... Uh, Arid Mesa choices, and also Demonic Tutor. All right. This is what Father likes. All right. Oof. Oof. Where's the Urborg when you need it? I'll still keep this hand. Everything here is good, and if you look at it in such a way as like, okay, if we mulligan and we don't have this in our hand... Would we keep this six? And the answer is definitely yes. Plus we have the combo, so. Is there a reason to not play Island here? If we play Island, we can still go Tundra Mana Drain. It keeps us off of Wasteland. And it still lets us play turn three Adeline if we draw that. So I think that's correct. Yes, we're definitely playing around Wasteland. That's the that's the that's the thought process. I'm trying to figure out if there's a reason not to play the island. Not if there's a reason to play the island. Watch we're gonna draw a creeping tar pit, you ready? It was another island. I was just kidding. That's just a little joke I like to play. Well. Oh, do we just... Oh, well, you're just going to take mana drain, so... We'll drain you. She already called you a shot for the day. Dang it. Dang it, Pa! Oh, Genesis Engine? Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, boy. What is this? What's the button? Is double click on the power? No. Ignore these fucking scam calls. I'm going to play this because I think it's just better to have it out. And I'd rather discard an island if we're going to discard something. Oh yeah, rocking that Genesis engine. I was gonna play Tefri, but then they then they gave me that Genesis engine, and I was like, "Let's go, let's let's engine it up." They're gonna wreck Sage this, aren't they? No, Kaito. My Planeswalker is cooler. <laughs> oh, they're gonna discard a Gristlebrand. Oh, that's no good. Don't like that. Oh, well, we don't have black sources, so let's let's keep that in mind. Still don't have a black source. Well, buttery biscuits, black source, black source, black source. Okay, Shattered Sanctum. We discard one card? That's such a good deal, man. I wouldn't describe it as cooler. <laughs> yeah, well, you'd be wrong. It is cooler. I think I'm just pitching Rona here because this guy just does a good job. We're also going to play Shattered Sanctum. We're going to Demonic Tutor here. And we're going to get Swords to Plowshares. Because I really don't want them to like reanimate an Archon and then attack us. Or do anything, really. Get in there. Dude, going through like six cards with this guy is just insane. 
They might also not have a reanimate spell. They might just be discarding the biggest card in their hand and looking for a reanimate, but you know what? I'm not here to take any chances. Here we go. Necromancy. Oh, Shieldred? Yeah, I'll probably kill that. Especially with a Genesis engine in play. I'll just let them gain two because um, I'd rather them discard thinking Shieldred is on the board. All right. That's a good one, AAs. So one, we can actually play, we can play him to Torok and Teferi. We can also just play Hex Mage, crew this guy to kill this and Teferi. And then next turn we can play Depths. Having Teferi out with Depths seems pretty good. I think that that feels correct. We could also just bounce the Kaido. No, we can't. That's not how that works. What does instant speed him do, though? I wish I could play a creature at instant speed. That would be cool. Currency Converter and Deluge. This is eight to crew. God, it's so much. Yeah, we can use Hex Mage to kill Kaito if we really needed to. I mean, a lot of the black reanimate spells don't also let them attack. So we could discard Beach and sack Pilot Token. I guess Shallow Grave does. And Corpse Dance. But Corpse Dance is not as good. It's also not as common. Yep. All right. Well, they have one card in hand, so they're going to Corpse Dance with Buyback. They're going to Animate Dead. Why play the Mox Diamond? Fascinating. So we can't make them discard? Oh, cause I guess they're going to draw. I don't understand the Mox Diamond play. <laughs> oh lord congratulations that is a good one I mean I still feel like we're in very good position here oh force of negation is interesting I don't think we can play it but we do get to play a Thraven Inspector. And they're kind of in top deck mode. So that's kind of cool. Actually, before we do that, we're going to loot here. Oh, a Grief. 
Interesting. Um, definitely going to pitch planes here. We have a lot of white sources. And then we'll just play three of an inspector. Sure. We have a lot of free cards in our hand. We just don't have the corresponding colors for them. They're in top deck mode. If they attack us, we take eight. We pitch a, f a land and lose a pilot. I guess we could also just block. I mean, they have to have two answers, one for the Hex Mage and one for the Merit Lage. Right, that's why we're saying we just didn't... Was that delayed? <laughs> I thought I just said that. Luris in the graveyard, okay. Fascinating. Actually, Pilot's probably better than Thraben Inspector at this point. What choice do they have, right? If they have a bounce spell, they're going to bounce it anyway. Wow, you really you really just top deck the swords. That's incredible. <sighs> I top deck bitter ordeal for the temporary and then swords for that. That's fucking incredible. Jeez, that's amazing. Well, Black, black for grief. I think we have blue, blue. It's probably this for Genesis Engine. This is, that's unbelievable, man. What is, what is fucking, what is Subspell Seeker even get here? We've used swords. We've used him. Colagon's command doesn't get any creature back, but we can't even get a Colagon's command. I would love a palace jailer, but that doesn't seem to be an option. <sighs> Boy. I guess we'll pitch Spellseeker. I kind of want to hit lands. Swords to Plowshares, Bitter Ordeal into Swords to Plowshares is just the the absolute best. You have a Savai Triome, great. So you're going to make us discard. I guess we'll discard Arid Mesa. I mean, do we really keep up Force, though? Does it matter? Like, we're looking at three cards a turn, and we kind of just want to hit, like, Palace Jailer. I'm actually shocked they drew Swords to Plowshares. Like, that's kind of kind of comical. There's so few answers that would actually deal with the Merit Lage. And they had to, they literally had to have uh, an answer for Teferi. Yep. Do we have anything to get back cards in our graveyard? It doesn't look like it. Jesus, they're just drawing so many cards a turn. Uh, sack this guy. Discard Arid Mesa. Wow. <laughs> Easy counter. I too know the strength of the Genesis engine. Yep. Well, I assume they drew one answer for our griefs so that their their Kaito survives.
They literally have the exact answer every turn. This is actually hilarious. I don't actually know what's going on. Palace Jailer one time. Sounds good. Okay. So one, two, three, we can get back something for two mana. I guess we can just kill the Kaito. And then have no cards in hand. Let's get rid of prison. Play ruins. Do we just get back Hex Mage to kill the... I guess we can just go return a creature and also make them discard. What does grief do? We can't cast grief and they're just gonna make us discard it with Archon. Like it'll be our only card and then they attack with Archon. Like I think we just get Hex Mage, cast Hex Mage to kill the Kaito. I mean, the alternative is we make them discard and deal two to Kaito, and then we just attack Kaito for the remaining two. I mean, is Rona better than making them discard a card? I don't know. Probably. Yes, maybe. Yeah, I guess that's actually pretty good. Get back Rona. Two to Kaito. So we're gonna go black. And you, and then we still have a blue. Attack Kaito, attack Kaito. Watch, they're gonna snuff out one of these guys. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Good lord, finally done. And then we'll play Rona as our last card. And next turn we get to look at four cards out of 12. <laughs> so maybe there's a Palace Jailer in there somewhere. We'll never have three pilots, though. We'll never be able to crew. Okay, land is fine. Didn't do anything, great. Timeless dragon. Oh, Fallen Shinobi is interesting. I want to pitch dragon here. I like having lands. Do we think they have an answer for Fallen Shinobi? All right, let's find out. Two, three, four. We've hit. We have hit. Oh my fucking god. <sighs> Sometimes you're just not meant to win games, you know? I get it. I know how it is. Oh, <laughs> 
You gotta have a good outlook, though, you know? You gotta just appreciate life. There he is. There's your boy. The neck the very next card. Well, we're definitely gonna draw with clue. Thankfully, we know we have an answer next turn. How are we dead? 12 damage from what? <laughs> Why would Archon of Cruelty be a 9-9? Nine -nine? <laughs> Oh, the preemptive, you're dead. Good, good. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Chat lethal. Yeah, theoretically, I mean, yeah, yeah, the, the odds of us finding Jailer in eight cards would have been higher for sure, I think. But I think, like, I was definitely blinded by the amount of amazing draws that they had. <laughs> Where I'm like, you know, you've drawn gas all game, so clearly there's going to be gas on top. It was the one time there was no gas on top. I also probably cleared off two lands for them to draw some some good stuff here. Oh, are they getting rid of our Genesis engine finally? They are getting... What are they doing? What are they targeting? Rona. That's an interesting choice. All right, well, they're at 31, so we definitely have an uphill battle. Reanimating Luris. Very good. Absolutely insane turn. What do you play, Currency Converter, I think, or Tide Hollow? You're going to play Tide Hollow Scholar to take our... You didn't play Tide Hollow Scholar to take our last card. Well, that's fascinating. Eight mana. We could play both Dragon and Jailer. Let's attack with Shinobi here. I don't I don't think I want to draw like we have six cards in our library and we have to get them down from twenty eight, which is a tall order. My I would love to see a way to reshuffle here, but that's not a thing. So if they block with Apparition here, that's fine. Yep, get a 2-2. Two, two. So let's keep two black up. We can just go one, two, three, four, Jailer. Sure. 
I don't know if we have enough cards to become the monarch, but we don't have enough cards to we don't have enough life to not become the monarch. So If only the monarch was a May ability, you know. This has definitely been a game. Oh, is it white? It's double white? Did I just fuck up? <sighs> what happened? Suspend is going to be a May ability. Now. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah, I totally messed up now because I thought this was double black to eternalize for some reason. I don't know how magic works. Well, we have three blockers. Yep, that's gonna cost us. Every game, there's like one moment where I'm like, "This is this is this is the part where I just lost us the game." I mean, despite our opponent's fantastic draws of bitter triumph, swords of plowshares, and damn, all in timely fashion. I think it's because eternalize when you eternalize, it's a black creature. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know. I mean, it seems pretty good. Reanimate, Kaito, Luris, Currency Converter, like, all the cards are fairly good. <sighs> Just gotta keep our removal up for the Archon, I guess. Gruff's Triplets in Tomb in response. What are they entombing? I mean, the graveyard's not that great for Luris. They literally just have Animate Dead, which does get back Gruff's Triplets, and Tide Hollow Sculler. They Entombed a Swamp. Okay. I mean, Gruff's Triplets here is pretty good. If only we had a 4-4 four, four out. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's a hit. So the question is, do I bring back the dragon, which is a 4-4, four, four, and then tap these to crew? That seems correct. Wish I had it in play last turn, but... 4, 1, 2... Well, see what happens. 
Now we're both at five-ish cards. Vindicate and Duress. Done. Vindicate your currency converter. Did that just win us the game? That's pretty good. We're very close at least. That's fine. Your graveyard's not that great right now. You literally just have Tide Hollow Scholar and Apparition. Apparition gets rid of Palace Jailer? Parallax Wave. That's pretty good. Don't like that. Recurring Nightmare was the top a top top three draw. That's pretty good. They're never without answers. We have done, how do we win? What's our, what do you mean we win? Play cards with Tybalt. No, what? Excel the top card of each player's library. Oh, well they just got Tide Hollow Scholar back. What, they took the wrong one? Wait, that doesn't, that doesn't do anything. But the plus ability is exiled the top card. What does that have? How does that? What am I missing? What do you guys? Like, what? They have three cards. Excel the top card of each player's library. Then what? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? The chat lethal here is pretty brutal. Yep, I think we just lost this game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven. So we have eight mana, so we have one mana to do. <sighs> Last cards in our deck is probably like, looks like it might be a land, because I don't actually see. There's nothing to hit. We have our whole deck here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's not the end, right? This has been a game, dude. I guess we'll just play the land because next turn we might need it. Oh God, we have to draw a card off that. Brutal. I'm pretty sure we just have two lands left in our deck. Yep, there's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yep, last... Oh, uh, this actually beach might be 17. Sure, that's fine. If we can get one more card off their library... <laughs> It does feel like they can't attack here. That's true, they can't get the monarchy because then we die from the... The 
Palace Jailer. <sighs> this has been a game, man. This was very good because now these guys are six sixes. Yeah, jailers. Jailer's going to ruin us. We also have eight minutes and 29 seconds to win another game. Just these two. That's fascinating. Oh, you're actually attacking Tybalt. They have four creatures. Can we win if we crack back? One, two, three, four, five, six. Um. They have Trample. Man, these guys are really good. I wish I crewed. That would have been better, right? Crewing with an 8-8 and then killing the other guy would have been really good there. One, two, three, four, five. We could have crewed, blocked with eight, eight, blocked with double four, four. I think we just let Tibble go here. We already have the emblem. Which means we can Skyclave, Tide Hollow, make Adeline. Sky call a Lurrit. Sky, zip, 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 zip. Yes, correct. We get one more card and we have to win that turn because of the monarchy. Adeline does career. I'm just worried about the blocking 8-8 eight, eight and gaining 3, which means that's 11 points <laughs> like that we're just losing out on. Do we want to have the chance to tibble? I mean, no, I don't know. Who knows? Like, that's what we're trying to figure out. Like, we don't get to know until we draw our last land. It might actually be a spell. I don't know what it would be, though. It was a land. <laughs> so we'll play this guy. It's the all we can do. We can Apparition Lurus. We don't get Adeline if we do that, but I think that's okay. I think the three life is going to be a little better. I, I don't think it matters, honestly. Like, they're just going to block with everything they have. <sighs> Might as well crew, right? With one, two... Three, that doesn't do anything, right? Whatever. I'll just attack and let them figure it out. Like, if we make this an 8-8, eight, eight, they're just going to block with one... They're just going to block it with three, but Inspector, so it's better to actually have the more damage. Four, five, six, seven, eight. But they have less time than we do, so this just... Makes them run down their clock a little bit more. Oh boy, that was a game. <laughs> I kind of want Archangel Avison here against them. Portable Hole seems decent against uh, Animate Dead. And like Tide Hollow Sculler. <sighs> Take out Pentad Prison. <laughs> 
Shadow Spear probably would have been good there, yeah. I might bring in Curtain, Portable Hole. I do like Molten Collapse because it just kills their idiot, their big stupid idiot. Plus they have Currency Converter and... I kind of like all three of these. I don't know if we I can I don't know if I care enough about force of negation. I don't think we have enough blue cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. All of these were good. Valky was was good. Do kind of like Shadow Spear. I'll just play. I'll just play Shadow Spear. We'll just play forty-one here, and let's play quick because time is not on our side. Yeah, it is a little bit. We have like thirty-four seconds more. So if we have to go to a game three, um, just gonna start with this guy. We only have. I guess we do have Sunken Ruins and Island, so we do actually have Dark Depths if we hit Vampire Hex Mage. So actually it should have been Tundra. Um, hello? <laughs> Katie getting good mileage out of those emotes. Watch, it's gonna be Hex Mage. Palace Jailer, okay. Play this guy, now we have a double black, which is nice. They're kind of taking their time, even though their time is very low. Mm, Archangel Avison. All right. Well, we have all the mana for our things. Dress. All right. You got a swords, which is very good. Are they missing a land drop? No. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of just wanted Palace Jailer here. Uh, I'm not playing Valky now. I'd rather save Valky until he's a big boy, until he's all grown up, you know? What about Cousin Larry? Wow. Jesus. Ch children of the 80s. That doesn't do anything, though. That's great for us. Could play Valky and Teferi here. Or we could just keep up. I think we're just keeping up Avacyn. Actually, maybe not. We have seven. I think I just, or we have five. I think I just want to keep up Avacyn here. In tomb. Reanimate Archon. You got it. Sure, they take nine. We can pitch Shadow Spear, I think. Scrubland. land. 
So let's go these two. Actually, we can just cast that guy next turn, right? I'd like to see what they have in their hand. But I also want to activate Teferi and bounce this idiot. Yeah, I think this is safer. Exhum, Dam, Recurring Nightmare, Swords. Okay, good to know. We know your hand. Get in there. So they have no creatures, and they're just going to take four here? That's interesting. So they have Swords, Exhum, Recurring Nightmare, Dam, and Archon. They're probably like, wait, I can just Dam next turn and kill both creatures. No, they're probably saving it so they can kill both with just Dam. Yeah, that's correct. So Dam is gone. We know you have these three. Exhum does nothing. Transform her. Sounds good. Genesis Engine. Uh, one, two, three, four. So we can go one, two, three, four for engine. Search for trying to hit a land. We did. Pitch Dragon. Play Land. Plus Teferi. Keep up Malcolm. Cycle that guy. Sounds good. Play land. Sounds good. So we know all four of the cards in your hand. One, two, three, four. Get griefing. Swords? Swords the Malcolm? Or Swords the Grief? Uh, swords the... Swords nothing. Sounds good. Oh, we have Teferi. <laughs> that's a good point. Wow, that's a... That's a point you're making there. I'm just going to pass here. We'll keep up Kolagon's command. I think both of us are trying to play relatively fast. Luris. Can't do anything, right? Cast... Discard, no, not discard, destroy an artifact and kill a creature. All right, that was game two, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well all right okay now we gotta win game three and we both have like two minutes on the clock so that's good <sighs> oh okay we just gotta compose my nerves again this has been a barn burner <laughs> Whatever that means. I kind of like concealed curtains here.
We'll play it over Shadow Spear because I think like being able to rip a card from their hand is probably pretty good. Like we have a minute extra, which is pretty good. This hand is pretty bad. This one's much better. I think we ship Spellseeker here. Actually, Spellseeker is pretty decent. We could probably just ship land here. No, nah, we'll ship Spellseeker. I think that's fine. I like that. Getting Scrubland to him to Torak into Adeline feels good. Skyclave and Animate Dead. That seems pretty good. Unless they go Lurus, but then we can just kill the Lurus. I mean, they have infinite removal. Damn, bitter swords. Got them damn bitter swords, you know? Sure, like that. <laughs> Is this one that leaves the battlefield? Great. Dark Depths. That's like a Dark Depths. Coligon's Command, eh? All right, that'll do. Discard a card and two damage. So now they have one card, we have five. I like it. They also burn their reanimate, and the reanimate dead is in the graveyard. So we also have a minute more than they do. So it feels like we're in good shape here, despite our first game. Uh, let's play this guy. I don't even want to run out hex mage here because if they have dam, it's pretty bad for us. Hmm. Okay. So now they're in top deck mode. We have a palace jailer and a swords. So now I think we can just run out palace jailer for free. Just getting the monarch for free off a of palace jailer is <laughs> pro play. Oh, should have kept two blue up. Didn't didn't think about that. Oh, I guess we just get to, I guess we just get a free roll there. Well, we have 40 seconds, so. Oh, we can just cast that guy. Wow, Leyline, Bitter, and Prismatic Ending? <whistles> that's a lot of things. I'm just going to let you keep all of them because that's fine. You got it. I mean, they have 20 seconds, we have a minute and six seconds, so I feel like our odds of getting timed out are fairly low. They're, oh, they're just F6-ing. Sure. Uh, 
black, black, cast. I'm just overpaying here because who cares? So now they have Toxic Deluge and Prismatic Ending. One, two, three. And one, two, three. They have five seconds, sure. We can literally probably just F6 for the rest of the game and they'll just lose. So that's what we're gonna do. Great games. <laughs> oh boy, that was a good time. What a fucking match, dude. Whew. All right. Welcome to round two. Babe, did you just fall back asleep and then wake up again? <laughs> I'll keep this hand. No blue sources, but that's okay. We can go get a Tundra into Spellseeker into Ancestral. That seems pretty cool, right? Keep in mind, both of these come into play tapped until turn three. I was watching my little reels. <laughs> oh, these kids and their TikToks. Okay. The worst thing for me about playing matches like the last one is that like I have I have to like wind myself down and, and convince myself that I don't have to play super fast anymore. And so I kind of like slow down and take my time. Cycle. Get busy cycling for Tundra. What are you going to do with a Tundra? I'm going to play a spell seeker. Seeking some spells. Oh God, Michael's hacking up his lungs in there. You going to counter my spell seeker? No, counter what he gets with Spellseeker. Yes, counter Spellseeker. Okay, you got it. No, I don't want to pay. You don't have to ask me twice. Just the once will do. Oh, look at that beautiful baby. Beautiful baby shark. Do, 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 baby shark. Do, 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 do. Look at this. Four white mana is what I'm going to spend for this guy. Would you like to pay? Would you like to pay? Are you sure? Would you like to pay? I have Force with Fallen Shinobi if we want to do that. I don't think we do. I do, however, think we want to Fallen Shinobi. And then cross our fingers that they don't have an answer. That would be cool, right? They're going to Crypto Command and bounce it. That's pretty rough. I don't have another blue card. Yep. Of course. I did want to pay. I just couldn't. <sighs> Worst possible outcome. They get a 4-4. Four, four. And we don't, we lose our 4-4. Four, four. I mean, just attack for six here, right? All right. If we hit a land, we can just get Spellseeker back and then cast Spellseeker. That seems pretty good. That's not exactly a land, but it lets us Valky next turn. So we're going to go cast, destroy an artifact, return, big seekers. 
Oh, I guess I can't do that. I got to do it with like a, a red here and a black here. Their name is PT Man. They must be a physical therapy fan. This is actually pretty good if we just get to Valky here. Well, less so because of the amount of creatures they have, I guess. That was a hell of a turn, my man. Demonic Tutor, what do you get? Nothing that impacts the board here. <laughs> we could Valky and plus Valky. What does that do? They can attack for 4, 5, 6, 11, 12, 13. Not much. Doesn't do much. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's good against the tokens, but not until they're actual creatures. Meanwhile, we have nothing on board to do. We could spell seeker for mana drain and also play demonic tutor and then just keep this up for a mana drain. But like how much damage are we taking? Like this is just a million damage. Chromo seed shark is just really good. Sword's not terrible against the shark. Could also just take Ancestral. <laughs> so we have four total mana here. I think we take Swords. We Demonic Tutor. We can Swords the shark here. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what our what our like our big plan is here. I guess we're just getting ancestral. Yeah, this puts us in a position where like we can actually parallax wave and start killing off the tokens because we don't they don't know we have it. I hope they make another big guy. They did not. We'll give them an island. <laughs> okay, so they have time walk and time warp. That's good. Yep, that's a good one. Definitely blocking here. Don't really want to go to three. I only have three cards in hand. One, 
one, two, three, four, five. We have six options. All right, well, locking them down. I assume they're putting time warp into their hand. What's the whole, what's going on? It seems like they just didn't know where the, where the time warp was. No, it's because they it's because they keep the cards under the Karn and not under your not in your exile zone. Sure. Well, we're at eight, so I really don't want to take four here. Well, Parallax Wave being able to get rid of five creatures at different times seems pretty decent. Now we both have four cards in hand. Uh, you can have a Talisman and not an Elspeth. Oh my god, every deck we play against has Genesis Engine in it. Man. It was kind of funny when someone was like, I would cut Genesis Engine. I don't think you've played with this card. Do we think they have counter spells in hand? Should we just play Tepri and not worry about that? Maybe. Oh, that feels better. This exile a creature or an artifact, huh? So we have eight mana, which is pretty good. I might just play Teferi and then Genesis Engine of our own. They can make one guy. like it. All right. Feels like we're recovering. We both have three cards. We both have active Genesis engines. God, 
God, Active Genesis Engine is so scary. Just the amount of cards you you get to see. Oh no, they get to float this guy. That's pretty good. Yeah, I don't like that. It seems like an easy choice. You just jump your your Teferi, or you jump your Servo and Teferi. Their deck seems pretty good. Oh, actually, yeah, we're at four, so it might just be a, just attack us. That might be the option. Oh, I think they're just killing us with Genesis Engine. Yeah, this is good. They're going to make a 4-4 with Karn, make a 4-4, and then crew the Genesis Engine. This is good. I am impressed. Wait, they already used Karn. They used Karn to get Elspeth. What's going on? What? They can't crew. I thought they were going to make a construct. That's only seven. Oh, they make a one, one, but now they can't float. So now we just get the block. This was an interesting choice. So now they don't attack at all. And we get to keep Teferi. Discard an island. Interesting. Four, five, six, seven. So Malcolm is a blocker. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could play Valky, but that's all we could do. Or we can play all of these guys. Okay, blue, blue, two blue. We have three black already. Discard the black. I mean, I like Valky being able to get rid of their Genesis engine. But then they just jump and kill the Valky. Which doesn't seem terrible. This doesn't have trample, which is nice. Well, we do have a blocker in Malcolm. But I mean, like, they can make this guy jump and put us to one. So, I mean, like, the Elspeth is kind of the issue more than... Definitely playing untapped land, because we're either playing three mana worth of stuff or a seven drop. So Valky goes to two. The problem is if they have a counter spell for this. Oh, we have Tefri out. Never mind. <laughs> I feel like they're trying to counter it and it's not working. <laughs> All right. So if we click this, we do have to pay four, right? Okay. Well, that's a turn, I guess. They can jump their construct and put us to one. And if they can get rid of another blocker, I think they kill us. No, 
they'd have to get rid of both blockers, right? They get rid of one blocker, we can block one. Yeah, they would just kill us if we if they have an, a removal and a. But getting rid of the engine feels like it should be good. Steel Seraph. Yep, that that's the game. <sighs> yeah, that felt loose. Now they just give their other guy flying. Yep. No, that was stupid. I don't think this was the correct play. I think Grief, Thraven, Inspector, Malcolm was probably correct here. Like, we had some more time. Yep. I mean, to be fair, they had a great start, so whatever. Frustrating. Portable hole can come in. Molten Collapse can come in. Ah, uh, kills non-land, non-creature permanence. What are we going to hit with that? I guess you can hit incubator tokens before they incubate. What are you doing, Wilson? Man, Parallax Wave overperforming every game. That's nice. Uh, Pentad Prism is kind of meh. Yeah, I'm fine with playing 41. I'll do it. Um, yeah, Arid Mesa gets us Tundra. This hand seems pretty decent. So we can go in this order, minimize the damage we take. Sacred Foundry into Tundra into Concealed Courtyard. an island might just be better because now we can get scrubland if we need a second black it <laughs> oh the old chore with himself we'll play this guy now in case they want to untap and have like I've heard about you on the internet. I've never been on the internet, so those are lies. We could actually just go get... Um, Ancestral Recall. Let's pitch a planes, I think. Sounds good to me. Um, this feels correct. <laughs> Just ancestral for three cards here. Beautiful. Got them depths. So now we can get Tundra and still have double black, so that's nice. Heart of Kieran. Intrepid Adversary. Happy Adversary. Man, you can crew that guy? Wild. Well, no land and we're good. Oh, isn't that fascinating? Well, hmm. If we take this guy... And they crew. We can't attack. But we can counter... Well, we can counter if they play a spell. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like that. Plus it gives us double black for next turn. Get busy jailing. And we can also just keep this up in case they have any shenanigans. 
if they crew now, I'm just taking Heart of Kieran. A target has been announced. Look at me. I am the monarch now. I will not attack. I will, however, draw a card. Oh, I like a Molten Collapse. I hope they play a four mana Planeswalker. That would be... They didn't play anything? You fool. Oh, they're going to play something in the beginning of combat. I don't think that's... What? Interesting. Well, I'm definitely going to block... What? Why do this at the beginning of combat? What's the perk of that? I can't play anything different during the beginning of combat. You know what I mean? Like the 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 options at my disposal are the same either way. So I guess we're just doing this, you know? Might as well get in there. And now we get to keep up Force of Negation, which is nice. And we get to draw another card, which is nice. Everything's nice. So many nice things, you know? Yeah, but at least the flourish looks cool, you know? And that'll do, pig. <laughs> All right, Dark Depths is a hell of a drug. <sighs> Subtlety, it's planeswalkers and creatures. That is tempting, isn't it? Rip Ninja. It's okay. He died to he died so that the battle may be won. Uh I don't think we pitched Spellseeker because we still had him to Torak, Demonic uh, not Demonic Tutor, Mana Drain, and Swords to Plowshares, all of which I think are extremely useful. Whereas Fallen Shinobi is likely never getting through. So, I mean, being able to just go Spellseeker, fall, uh, Swords of Plowshares on the same turn is just feels better, I think. I think it's just a better card to have access to. It also gets Molten Collapse now that we've put that guy in there. So, what did I want? I wanted... I want it subtlety, but I don't know if it's better than any of the other cards we have. It is another card to pitch to Force of Negation. Do we take out Adeline? Is Adeline just like too cute? We just don't have a ton of creatures. Yeah, we can take out Adeline. I think she's out of line. <laughs> oh God, it was terrible. What happens when you should leave and it's your own stream, you know? Oh, they went to five on the play? They went to four on the play. Okay. Well. Demonic Tutor into him to Torok might be the... Uh, that's not good. So we get to start with an extra four cards? Oh, Jesus Louises. I think we get... I want to be able to tutor next turn. I think we'll start with Sunken Ruins.
between Arid Mesa and Timeless Dragon, we do have two white sources. Hubba hubba. <laughs> do we just do that? I think we just do that. And if they don't do anything, we can Timeless Dragon to get a Sacred Foundry. Oh, yes. Oh, this is going to be... This is this is just the best. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, man. I don't want to hard cast that guy. I mean, I do. Don't get me wrong. We have access to six mana here. Oh, man, we are one mana from Valky. That's kind of funny. That would have been sick. All right, so we have six mana. What's the best use of it? We could just cast Fallen Shinobi. But if they have any answer, it's just not great. We could Demonic Tutor him to Torok Timeless Dragon for Red Source. I mean, that just has to win the game, right? So we need a third black here. So I think we get Scrubland. Um, we're going to go double black with this guy. Use him and one of the, or not him, uh, one of the black to get, oh, we could also just grief here. I mean, I think grief feels better, especially with fallen Shinobi in hand. Beautiful. Yep, that feels good. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh my god, they just drew an Elspeth? If we hymned, they wouldn't have had the extra land for the Elspeth. Interestingly enough. Well, I think we're just killing Elspeth here. Also, getting grief back is pretty good. All right. So next turn we get to Shinobi. We can even Swords the Soldier token if they don't play anything else. That'll do. All right. 2-0. My brain is hurting from all these. These matches have been fairly complicated. Are you saying no Shinobi because he didn't, uh, he didn't connect and get his little triggers? Hmm. My what's going on with my keyboard? I guess it's good now. Okay, that was weird. I will play first. Yeah, all right. I feel like this deck would really benefit from a talisman. I don't know if we're going Ancestral Recall here. One, two, three, four. We go up to eight, we go up to nine, we play a land, we don't have a second thing to play. I think we have enough in our deck to play. Uh, keeping mana drain up would be nice, but we don't get a land to do that. And all of our lands come into play tapped now. So that's not great. I think we actually just play Creeping Tar Pit and pass, discard a Swamp. 
That feels okay. It turns all of other lands on, which is okay. Oh man, if they don't play anything, that's fantastic for us. That's fantastic. We're, do we're not going to play anything either. I like this Odyssey land. Frodo. Mr. Frodo! <laughs> do I care about this? Eh, probably not. I always call it Frodo. It's actually Samwise. That's sad. Sorry, Sam. I always call Sam Frodo. I don't know why, you know? Why would he do that? I cannot believe he's done that. I'll take two. Mm, that's what father likes. Let's get this lady out of here. Give him pro something. They didn't. Good for you. I, I get proud of my opponents whenever they don't do nonsense. Nonsense plays like that. All right, so we got a grief. And we can keep... No, we can't keep force up. We got seven... Where's a Valky when you need him? What do we have? Seven total mana. So we could play Timeless Dragon or we can cycle Timeless Dragon and play Grief. And I think we have to play Grief here. Yeah, that's a good hand, all right. Don't like that. I think Shieldred is the worst for us. They need a second black for it. Portable Hole doesn't do anything against us. Jitte's fine. Yeah, don't like this at all. Yeah, let's hit Shieldred. Oh, did we just overpay? Oh yeah, because we we got we have so much mana. I think we cycle this. I don't think we we don't have a second white anyway, so I'm just gonna get. Uh, we have a ton of. I guess we'll just get Sacred Foundry. We kind of have infinite black and infinite infinite blue at this point. Fantastic draw. <laughs> Interesting. I'm pretty sure I would have played Elspeth here and then Jitte next turn to equip because now you're just not going to have any creatures on board. And now we can counter the Elspeth. Oh, he's the ring bearer. Son of a bitch. Oh, that's annoying. It has Skulk. <laughs> yeah, never mind. I did forget about the ring bearer ability. Magic's hard, man. There's so much going on at any given time. It's actually not bad. Okay, well, we want to keep up double blue, so I think we just play Ridge. Him to Torok you. We can go blue, blue, blue. Yeah, we can just go double black here. All right, well, we're good against non creatures. With the Ring Bear ability right now is. See, you don't even know. Uh, your ring bearer is legendary. can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. So. We do need to find a way to just kill this, this Samwise. Yep. Otherwise, they just run away. <laughs> oh, boy. I guess we can Timeless Dragon. Oh, we need a second white source, though. Then they're going to have four counters on this guy, though. Oh, God. Still kind of have to do it, though, you know? There's nothing we can do. 
God, that's brutal. This deck we're definitely bringing in portable hole against. Yep. 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 Parallax wave for the win, one time. Oh. That is interesting. Let's just do that. And then we'll plus. Because they can only deal two this turn. And we still get to force of negation if they play a spell next turn. This is like drawing two. Yeah, Teferi. Oh, that's good. Now we're talking. You can play cards, right? Yeah, so I get free lands. Beautiful. All right. So they have three total damage on board because they had to use all the counters to kill the dragon. I feel like that puts us in decent shape. They can only deal two to Teferi, or to Valky. Valkyrie. Valkyrie is what happens when you uh, combine Teferi and Valky. One, two, three. So Tarpit is four and Shinobi is four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three. We could actually Tarpit and Shinobi next turn. Oh, they're just going face. Oh, they're going face with this Mother of Runes too. Well, now we can bounce Mother of Runes and exile the Samwise. No, <laughs> absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Valky wins that game. Wow. That was satisfying. Let's bring in Portable Hole, take out Thraben Inspector. Portable Hole also hits some of our two drops. Um, but we can get rid of it with Molten Collapse, which I kind of like. So let's bring Molten Collapse in as well. Nick Squirt, what's your question? Yes, Nicholas, do you have a question for the for the for the class? Uh I kinda like fire ice. Uh I don't think that's an early concession. We get to kill like both their creatures next turn. And we get to Tefri bounce the mother of runes, we get to Valky exile the Sam, and they have nothing on board. And then we have uh a Valky, a Tefri. And then, like, whatever else we get for free. Like, I don't know. Tefri, Tefri's pretty insurmountable from that position that they were in. I'm going to take out Adeline again. I do like subtlety here. I think this is good, though. We're bringing in a bunch of removal, though. We're bringing in Molten Collapse, Portable Hole, and Fire Ice. I think this is good. We have Timeless Dragon to get a blue source. We also have Force of Negation for them. You got it. That's my mommy. All right. So probably him to Toraching. Yeah, this is a good aggressive start. A nice aggressive start. Hit Spellbinder in a Plains. That's pretty good. I don't really want to get hit with a Spellbinder. So turn three we can go Malcolm, and then turn four we can Shinobi. Yeah, that's good. You have Jitte and Skull Clamp that we know about, so. But you don't have a third land. 
Oh man, let me draw fire ice one time. Don't let me draw it because I don't have the actual mana for it. Now we do. Okay. We could pentad prism for two here and then use one of it to cast Malcolm. That doesn't feel terrible. But what's the goal of that? Like it ramps us towards one in the future. It also gives us a second blue if we need it immediately. Yeah, that seems okay. Don't you want Malcolm to force clamp? What does that mean? No, I want Malcolm to get through for Fallen Shinobi. This is an aggressive attack. This also gives us a red if we just happen to draw a... Oh wow, they're just killing their mom. Bugok. Oh, that's an interesting hit. We could also just use the last counter in case we hit a land. I think that's fine to do. Bazinga. Luminarch Aspirant and Jitte. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Jitte. Aspirant. And probably just planes here. I think we want more colored mana. Jitte does seem pretty good. Especially when we can make our Fallen Shinobi larger and larger. I like their land choices. These are some classic... Classic retro frame lands there. I feel like they're in a position where if they're going to kill something, they have to either kill the Jitte or the Fallen Shinobi, but not both. Going to combat. Three? I think we're just taking three here. Four? I think we're just taking four here. I'm surprised they didn't equip the stone forge with the skull clamp. Yeah, I'll go to seven. We have a Jitte on board. We have a Hulk. Palace Jailer. Get rid of Fallen Shinobi. That seems good. Teferi, Bounce, Palace Jailer, get the Monarchy. We can't equip Jitte too, though, can we? I guess we can if we draw a card. But we get our Fallen Shinobi back, which is important. We did not draw a card. That is unfortunate. But we get our Shinobi back and we get the Monarch. Yeah, they just do it again. That's fine. But, I mean, what can you do? You know? <laughs> we can't tap this for mana, right? Okay, just making sure. 
Oh, that's going to win us the game. <laughs> that's the game. That's the whole ball of wax right there. They're probably going to clamp something in order to draw a card. Because they're just missing land drops. Mm. Now they just got rid of them forever. Okay. See, that's interesting because if they played Palace Jail, I guess we're at four, so they're really like... Yep, go to two. Not great. Two, three, four. We're one mana shy of everything, which is really obnoxious. We also cannot get a red source here. I was thinking we could spell seeker to molten collapse. I think we just have to parallax wave here and then just hope that next turn we can. Does that even do it? Like we have to get rid of shielded. That's like the bottom line. I think we messed up on the turn we had one land. We should have cycled Timeless Dragon. Does this do anything? We actually die if we do that. No, we get to exile their creatures, I guess. Yeah, there was a turn where we had one mana up and we didn't play a land. Oh, we get our own palace jailer. Okay. Well, we're not thriving, but we are surviving. Sure. I hope they just play like an Elspeth instead. That would be great. So we can go get Sacred Foundry now. God, Force of Negation being non-creature spell is really biting us in the ass here. If we exile this... Until an opponent becomes the monarch. Does it come back on our side or their side? Because creatures usually tell you where the creature returns to. I assume it's theirs. So if I exile this, they still become the monarch. So it doesn't do anything. Yep. Okay. Okay. Polygon's command, what do you do? He sits up in his chair. We have one, two, three, four, five. We could pitch one, two. We could pitch this guy, have four mana left. We could Palace Jailer their Palace Jailer. <laughs> that feels okay.
we're really just trying to get to a point where we can actually equip this Jitte before we die. Oh no! Oh, damn it. <laughs> so bad. Everything is terrible. Oh yeah, this is this is a mess. All right, well, this becomes a 2-2. We can block it because we have to. We just have to, we just don't have a creature. Oh man, I forgot about the nuances of Palace Jailer here. Come on, we're not doing that. Actually, we don't want them to become the monarch, so we do have to do this, I think. Splicer, we're just never getting through. Oh boy. All right, parallax wave is. Yep, this is. So one, two, three, four. We can play a land. We can play Kolagon's command, and we can spell seeker. During our turn, during our upkeep, Shieldred comes back which likely kills us. I think this is our only choice just to see what we hit. I don't think we have any good options here though. I feel like we're a turn away. If we could demonic tutor for Thank you. Oh, mean mugger gifting a sub. <laughs> uh, we could swords the shoulder before we draw, but I mean how we they don't we don't survive this, so I actually we might. We might be able to kill two of these guys with Colagon's command. Boy, this is a this is a stressful game for sure. Okay, destroy an artifact deals two damage. Artifact two. So we're gonna go white, black. This guy. Ah, oh, boy. We don't have swords. We have to demonic tutor to get the swords. Well, I guess we can see what we draw. That was not it. Okay. Well. Yep. Let's. God. Brutal. Yes, we could have gotten sword off the seeker. Obviously, we just did not think about it at that point. <laughs> thank you for, thank you for explaining what seeker does. Oh God, this is exhausting. Adeline might be good against them. She might make enough bodies that actually deal with their stuff. I mean, it was it was a grind for sure. Let's take out the Pentad Prism. I think that's been kind of meh. I will keep this. It's an awkward configuration because if we play Swamp, we can play turn two Sunken Runes. But if we want to play Adeline, this, we need this for blue, we need this for black. If 
we ancestral, what do we get? Or if we demonic tutor, what do we get? Um, I kind of want to lead with Adeline. I think we're going to lead with Sunken Ruins here. This way, if we get like Scrubland or Tundra or something, we can still cast these, but it also lets us have a white mana drain. See, that's that's pretty good. And if they don't do anything, we'll just Ancestral. Oh, they're not doing anything. Um, I don't think we need to Ancestral here. I don't really want to discard. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, so next turn, we will Ancestral this turn, or we will uh, Mana Drain this turn, so that we can... Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Double blue. And a black. Yeah, that was pretty nice. Okay. Oh, a Dark Depth? So we can Demonic Tutor for... Oh, that's interesting. We can Demonic Tutor for Hex Mage. We know they have swords, though. So I think we just actually... What is this? Three, four, six, this is this seven mana? I don't want to hard cast Shinobi because we... We can easily just Ninjutsu this guy into play. And I feel like they might have a counter spell. And Shinobi's your uncle. <laughs> oh, please. Seven mana. We could demonic tutor for we could demonic tutor for, for force and then also play Shinobi here. That I like. That's that's a play for you. Oh, they're going to... Oh, that's fine, I think. All right. Don't want to really draw with her out. <laughs> Don't like that. I guess we're just attacking here. They either give us the hits or we trade, and then we can Ancestral. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go double blue. Oh, we gotta we gotta pay that with a black, don't we? There we go. Ancestral. Coligon's command gets back Shinobi. This is one, two, three, four mana. I don't hate that. We could also just ignore this, keep up force and Coligon's command to get back Shinobi. Two, three, four, five. Lots of decisions here. We could also just play Adeline and Creeping Tar Pit. I think that's probably fine. This match has been stressful. Oh, they're just drawing. That's great for us. You're right. All these matches have been surprisingly stressful. You're right. <laughs> and we could have played Adeline pre-combat last turn. But not knowing what we wanted to do for the turn, um, I didn't think just getting a 1-1 one -one was really worth it. I like to keep our options open. Especially after Ancestral. Fine. Oh, that was a great draw. Boink. Get in the hole. Portable hole.
So we can actually end of turn Kolagon's command to get back Shinobi if, and kill something if they do that. And then also play Malcolm. To then ninjutsu the Shinobi. Portable hole on my portable hole. Sure. <laughs> portable hole on portable hole. What's it good? Oh, we're just gonna flicker wisp something. I guess we're killing my human token. Okay. Oh, I like that. That's actually kind of helpful. Gee, thanks. Gee, willikers. So we're going to cast this. Deal two damage. Return a creature. Cast this guy and this guy. We're going to make sure we keep up a blue. I want to make sure I did that right. <laughs> cast. Uh, return a creature and deal two. Cast. This will be the creature. This will be the creature. We're going to go red. Black. One. All right, we just win the game. That'll do, pig. That will do. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time. Really appreciate you.